Ascent is go. Jaws been asking to talk to you. We might have a problem. I was running some numbers, mass balances and such. The Tempest is carrying about 70 kilos of extra mass. I think something's aboard that doesn't belong. Is it a problem that we're carrying extra mass? Not mechanically, but, but something heavy and unexplained? That's not good. Our internal sensors aren't getting anything, but they're not as powerful as a Pathfinder's scanner. Can you take a look? All right. I'll look around the ship and see what I can find. Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? No. Oh. Fine. Fine. Don't worry about it. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Jar much? Long time no chat. <laughs> What's up? How's your friend Jill doing? Good. Busy. Apparently prepping multiple species for pro waiting to get it all started was killing her. Now she's being shot out of a cannon, so to speak. Are you sure you can keep the scourge damage under control? Never seen anything like the Scourge, what it does to our tech. It's keeping me on my toes, but that's when I do my best work. In a way, I guess I'm grateful. Well, you're welcome. Don't do me any favors. <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. You're in good hands. How tough was it on the Nexus all those months? Have you ever eaten overcooked space cow tongue? As in everyone? Well, then you know. It's super tough. Wondering if you're gonna die from a critical malfunction, or maybe starvation. Imagining which would be worse. But hey, you could always take a break from the fear and boredom to dwell on being a part of the biggest failure in galactic history. Maybe even participate in a revolt. What was your take on that? I didn't place any bets, if that's what you're asking. Truth is, I don't think anyone made out particularly well. Whatever side you're on, you die a little when your brother, your teammate, becomes an enemy. We traveled all this way, all hope and wonder, and we end up fighting with each other over scraps. It's sad. Seems like we have a good group here. Well, veteran Suvi are my girls. Get along well. Lots of mutual respect. PB's a real spark plug. As far as your Hyperion peeps go... Doc's kind of nosy. Liam's good for a laugh or two. Cora, she's a bit by the book for me. By the book keeps us alive. Hey, variety's the spice of life, right? Different strokes makes for healthy debate. What about Callow? He's a pilot. Which means... He flies the ship. We're leaving it at that then? Does a Pathfinder know what to do with a dead end? Regale me with some poker wisdom. 
well, bluffing and reading players aside, poker is all about math. If the odds of getting the card you need are greater than the bet, make the bet. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Need something? I'll be here if you need me. Pathfinder, hey, I was wondering, could you put your stamp on a project? It's for me and Jarl to work on. Call it diplomacy if you have to put it in a budget bucket. Greenlight that research and it's all good. Just wondering what you think of how I'm doing at the job. I'm committed to the initiative. Your Pathfinder. It's as simple as it gets. What's your read on the people we're working with? The squad and crew? They're all fine. You must have opinions. Your opinion's more important. What do you think of your people? Some people wonder how we make this team work. Some days, I'm one of them. It's a blur sometimes. I bet Lexi's flagging all kinds of psych warnings. Up to us to figure it out. That's why this is our ship. So we own it. Want to make it work. We'll talk later. I know it. So, Jal. So? We haven't had a chance to talk alone. You comfortable in here? I took it. It feels strange to stay with the others. They are... you are... aliens. No one on my ship thinks that way. We're a team. Oh, I, I was uh, talking about my discomfort with your living arrangements, not about any uh, pre prejudice I harbor. I'm an alien. We are all strangers. I... Perhaps then, 
if we're all aliens. It's about what kind of alien we are. You had no idea about us, but you signed up to help us anyway. Perhaps it had nothing to do with you. That all you've got? Now that I've proven you can trust me, I was hoping you'd feel more able to open up. I have certain dissatisfactions that I'd like to leave behind. They're quite personal. How do you know Moshe Sefa? She's our greatest mind on the Remnant. I was his student. You studied the Remnant too? <laughs> A little. I was terrible. I quit. Or she threw me out. One of those. We're still very close. So, is that your rifle? It is now. It's Ket. With my own modifications. I like to tinker, to get my hands on something and take it apart. That's a skill I know we can use. But I have one request. Please don't take apart my ship. <laughs> You're right. I signed up. Uh, volunteered for this. It's uh, exciting. There's something unique about you. Uneasy, raw, but somehow profound. Face value, that sounds like a compliment. A nice one. It is. Angara feel deeply. We have <laughs> more trouble hiding our emotions than showing them. I should get back to my work. As if I didn't have enough on my plate, add deciphering alien psychology. What plate? Exactly. See you later. mineral deposit. approach. Vold orbit is steady.
picking up a faint signal. Looks like a friendly ship. It matches the transponder code for Asari's survey vessel, Periphono. That's the ship Hadaria mentioned. We might be close. So you're 1,400 years old? Most of me. Bits drop off, stuff gets added. That's still a long time. Longer than Asari, even. I had a lot of bastards to outlive, you know how it is. Huh. I thought this would be the Perifona. Ice or mineral deposits may be reflecting false positives. The real signal must be relatively close.
Can you imagine the heating bills if we settled here? I'm reading a temperature decrease. Pathfinder, I detect heavy weapons fire nearby. This is the source of the Periphonus signal. Oh god. And there's Ked on sight. Let's clear them out. Periphona, all right. What's left of her? Definitely Ket weapons fire. This wasn't just a crash. The Ket pulverized the ship. No survivors. If we'd have been faster, we could have... Damn it. But... This is stupid. The Ket take prisoners. Why kill the crew? It's like they saw the Periphona itself as a threat. But it's no match for a Ket cruiser. When you're ready for payback, we got something. Looks like a flight recorder. It's in bad shape, but let's see what... Final log. If the Arc ever finds this, we failed. Couldn't draw them off. The data copy's lost. The decimation's too cunning. Forgive us. We tried... The decimation. Hadaria mentioned specialized cat hunters. Maybe that's them. Any way we could use that or the flight recorder to find the Ark? If the nav record survived, we could trace the Periphonus flight path. Might lead us to them. I can't assist. I'll take a look when we get back. Still lots to do.
Jal said he wanted to see you. Gil, you missed your appointment. Again. Uh-oh, someone's in trouble. So, you've gained Ephra's trust. No easy feat. Yeah, but at a price. Mm. You mean the Rokar? <laughs> Don't take it personally. They hate all aliens. Ephra made it seem like you had experience with them. I know their leader, Aksul. We studied together under the Moshai. <laughs> but unlike me, he was a good student. The best, actually. Then he knows about Remnant? He did. <laughs> it's a long story. Give me the short version. Aksul was captured by the Ket. He spent a year in a forced labor camp before he managed to escape. I can't imagine what he must have gone through. He has scars that would give you an idea. When Aksul returned, he no longer cared about the Remnant or anything except destroying the Ket. Why not join the Resistance? Aksul's not the type to follow orders. And I think he was bitter we weren't able to rescue him. So he formed the Rokar. We didn't give them much thought. But since your people arrived, his cause has grown. I convinced Ephra I'm not a threat. Maybe I can do the same with Axul. <laughs> I admire your courage. But Axul's dangerous, and he lacks Ephra's pragmatism. He'll make you want to kill him. I have to try. If Helios is to be your home, I guess you'll have to deal with the Rokar one way or another. There's a recluse on Havarul who escaped with Axul from the Ket. Her name is Tholdir. She might know how to contact him. I'll send you the nerve point. Arrogant son of a bitch. Maybe that's redundant for a cat. It's damned lucky there was a path through the scourge right there. Yeah, we can't count on ever being that lucky again. So, what else is new? How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Still deciphering the Ark's last known course from the flight recorder, and making sure we're ready for a fight. How's the search for the Asari Still deciphering the Ark's last known course from the flight rec- Four years in a commando unit called Ta Lane's Daughters. Part of the Council's cross-species military integration initiative. You probably had a more exciting time defending that Arcturus relay. But we did good work. Peacekeeping is a full-time job, even in a sorry space. What was your commando unit like? Janae and I were the youngsters. Tethys was our old lady sniper. Kalia patched us up, and Valenza prayed between firefights. Our CO, Nasira, led us all over the Athena Nebula and beyond. A huntress's work is never done. Every civilization needs its defenders. And the defenders usually match their civilization. Like Asari huntresses being adaptable as hell. Makes you wonder what our militia will look like in a hundred years.
Did you come out here with anyone? Maybe someone you served with? I had my fun on shore leave. <laughs> Nothing serious, though. Asari huntresses figure things out, but I was there for soldiering, not romance. You're not technically military anymore. Can't get anything past you, can I? You were in the Alliance before you became a Huntress, right? What made you join up? My biotics. I was still living on my parents' cargo freighter when they manifested. Untrained biotic power on a starship means accidents. But we couldn't afford a tutor. The Alliance had implants, the training, everything. Old history now. Your turn. Remind me why you came to Andromeda. I spent years watching pioneers go through the Arcturus mass relays. Off to glory, while I stayed behind. Then Dad's career collapsed. His AI research made him too toxic. I heard. Must have changed everything for your family. We needed to start over somewhere new together. Or as together as we could. So, Andromeda. None of you writers ever think small, do you? See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Liam, I signed off on that project. That's great, Pathfinder. Jala Maldorov, we got our gear. Costa, Ryder. We don't technically have uniforms, but this is a little casual. <laughs> Just convenience, swapping armor. You ready to go? Go. Right. The pattern on your pauldron? Family honorific. Can I wear the poncho? It's a rough shin. And no. Why? Is it religious? Wait. What? It's personal. You're not allowed. Because of status or species? Maybe it's both. Mm, do all humans look alike? Some of you sound alike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know how this goes. Someone's getting offended, and someone else punched. That's why we're doing it here? It's an armor swap for answers. Stuff the diplomats, don't ask. I, my turn was earlier. Nexus info packets leave a lot out. I am sorry. Was this not sanctioned? Oh, you weaseling Adi. Nevertheless, Ryder? Jal's technically an emissary. There's no way this kind of questioning would fly with his superiors. He won't tattle if that's what you're worried about. This was between us. We were joking around and realized we didn't know how to insult each other. Or how not to. Some things are so ingrained, they're invisible. We didn't even know the warning signs, so we got it over with. Now we won't do it accidentally. Like when we're trying to negotiate an outpost. Enough of his people want to shoot us now. Okay, I kind of get the intent. No harm, no foul? <laughs> if Jar was offended, I'd be on the floor. I'll take that kind of honest any day. We have a lot to learn. That's part of what our team is for. <laughs> Better now than when people's lives are on the line. Orbit is steady. Ancestors came from this 
It looks so small from here. Anomaly on sensors. Sending the nav point for Darpalev. That's where the Moshe's team should be. It used to be an Angaran town. There'll be landing pads and good sight lines for a safe approach. Anomaly on the sensors. Something big, possibly hostile, taking evasive action. Wait! I don't think his... Well, that's something you don't see back home. I will meet you at Darpala. I thought I was beautiful. This blows it away. If there's a vault here and it's working, I wonder why it didn't show up on the map in Eos. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station.
for Roka and Garen fanatics. They hate all aliens and will likely shoot on sight. Charming. <laughs> Incoming!
got bigger. Another memory trigger? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. Shot to the gut. Painful. I appreciate the help back there. Name's Avidus Ricks. Sorry if my methods seem extreme. Civilian life is... trying. Scott Ryder, human pathfinder. You former military? A Spectre. Special tactics and reconnaissance. Did the Council's dirty work for 15 years. So you're used to being above the law. Well, good thing there are no laws in Andromeda, huh? The initiative was my retirement plan. Then Natanis hit the scourge and bam, woke up here. What happened? Where's the Ark? No idea. Had to break out of my own damn stasis pod. A fall like that should have killed you. Now, those pods are sturdier than they look. But most of the Turian population is still missing. Including Mason, our Pathfinder. Sam hasn't transferred to me, so he's alive. Just don't know where. He hasn't made it back to the Nexus. Knowing Mason, he's out there looking for me. Mason dedicated his life to Andromeda. He's too stubborn to die now. We need every Pathfinder we can get. The debris and stasis pods from Atanas are scattered across the sector. Between the two of us, we should find something. The settlers here need your help. I'm a stopgap. Mason is the solution. Here's my frequency. Call when you find something. I can't believe this is really happening. Thought we'd be stuck here forever, or until the aliens killed us. We built this camp from what remained of our stasis pod. If we leave, we can't abandon our wreckage. There's debris we couldn't get to out there. We have to take it with us. Anything from the crash belongs to the Initiative. It'll go back to the Nexus with you. Good. No telling what's still intact. Don't want hostile aliens using it against us. If you find anything from Ark Natanis, tag it for recovery. Oh, and thank you. Pathfinder. You must have some great stories from your Spectre days. <laughs> Not that I can tell. That's kind of the point of classified ops. Surely you can bend the rules after 600 years. Bending the rules? Yeah, that's what I thought being a Spectre was all about. Saren Arterius himself recommended me to the Council. Whatever their command, I carried it out without question. Saren? The rogue Spectre who led the Geth attack on the Citadel? If you believe the rumors, the Saren I knew was ruthless. Not crazy. But something made him snap. Everyone has a breaking point. I got out before I hit mine. 
Mason convinced me Andromeda was my chance to live outside the shadows. That's why I'm here. Do the Rokar attack often? Only when they find us. Bad as they are, damn plants are the bigger danger. I keep telling the others not to eat anything raw, but when you're starving, logic's the first thing to go. Are you and Mason close? We know each other well, yes. Did I say something wrong? No, sorry. I'm just not used to discussing my personal life. How are the other survivors holding up? They're in shock. Too busy surviving to grieve or take stock of what's happened. But when things eventually do calm down, it'll hit them. And it won't be pretty. Take care, Avidus. Likewise, Ryder. <laughs> 